My name is Zero. Today I'm showing you my newest highly requested build. This is a display that converts single precision floating point numbers into decimal floating point using the BCD representation and then outputting it onto a 7 segment display. The higher the exponent, both negative and positive, the longer it takes to process. What you just saw in the time lapse is the worst case scenario, where it converted 2 to the power of 127 into decimal floating point. It got an accuracy of 7 to 8 digits and shows the decimal exponent at the end. Now I'm going to show you the algorithms used. The algorithm I'm using is the double double algorithm, which is the most commonly and easiest one. Basically it works like this, we have the cells of 4 and in each of these cells it says that when the number in that cell is 5 or greater then we have to add 3. Now here we have our number we want to add and we always have to shift in one bit at a time starting with the most significant bit and we have to shift it exactly as many times as the amount of bits we have here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's do the first tick. That would be that. We have 1 over here. It's smaller than 5 so we don't have to add 3. Then the next tick. Still not adding 3. And now the next tick is 5. But it is going to add 3, so we will correct that to the 8. Now we have the third tick, now the fourth tick, and the final fifth tick. And now we've got it in the BCD representation. So here we have the 2, and here we have the 0, which is exactly 20 in BCD. So now for fractions, it's a little bit different. I had to make up my own little algorithm which is kind of just a uh, modified double de double double so here we have the four the cells again groups of four but this time we're going to do it like that we are going to subtract three if the number is eight or greater and another difference is that we start with the least significant bit and not with the most significant bit and yeah that is basically it so now I am instead the amount of shifts is normally depending on the exponent and the floating point number but in this case there would be tons of zeros over here but I am just um, going to leave them out because I don't want to do 10,000 shifts and I'll just shift at the right time so this is the 0 0.5 bit or 2 to the power of minus 1 this is 2 to the power of minus 3 or 0 0.125 and we're gonna shift it till we get 0 0.625 where we also have to add another cell okay so we shift it in once and you already see here we have an 8 this time the bits are also turned around so this is the most significant bit this is the least significant bit and now it's 8 so we have to correct it to a 5 now the next shift, we have a 2 over here, here we will have an 8, but this is getting turned into a 5 again, because of our for formula above. And now the last shift, there's a 9 coming in over here, a 2 over here, and an 8 over here. Now here we have a 9 that is greater than 8 so we have to subtract 3 which is 6. Then the 2 is okay and here we have to do a 5 again. So now we've got 0, 2, 5. Exactly the right result. So now I'm gonna show you where are all the parts and uh, displays. Here is the input with the 23 bit mantissa and our exponent. Then here it's calculating how many times it has to shift using the exponent. Here we have the counter to count how many times it already shifted and when to stop. This thing is the whole controller um, switching tons of multiplexes depending if we are um, only doing 
integer numbers only doing fractions or a mix of both. And here we have the counter for the exponent in base 10. Then we've two, got two major parts. The lower one is the double double for the fractions. Top one double double for integers. Both got a shift module. It always shifts the number four times to the left or right. If um, it were if the point would not be in the leading bit. So for example, um, in the top one, it may after let's say eight, the next shift would be sixteen, and the dot would be like the comma won't be behind us six so it shifts the whole number one to the right so it's 1.6 same down here so out of zero point out of zero point one to five next one would be zero point six two six two five six one two five and so it shifted one to the left so we still got that leading one over here then down here we have a parallel um, BCD converter just for the exponent over here so just this for 38. Here we have multiplexes that are choosing um, it for each digit if it should display a fraction or an integer, which is determined by the exponent, and uh, not by the, not by the exponent, by oh yeah, by the exponent, but of the decimal one. So over here by this counter. And yeah, that's basically it. Here we have the two shift register, one for the integers, one for fractions. Integers goes most significant bit first. Um, fractions goes less least significant bit first, and that is basically how it works. Now, how to use it? Here, we'll, right now, it's still on display, and first we input the exponent. Some calculations, like the exponent, work immediately. So right now, for example, we don't have a negative exponent anymore, so it shows zero zero. But in the memory cell over here, as you can see, it's still sa the number that was shown before is still saved. So each time you got a number saved, you always have to flick that lever when doing a number. Okay, so now let's actually enter a number. I'm gonna choose 10. That is that and floating point. Then press the button. Now unflick the lever, otherwise the machine doesn't work. And then just press the button over here. Now uh, we go to the front. And we will see we got a right, right result form point zero 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 blah 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 e plus one. So that would be ten to the power of one equals ten, ten times one equals ten. Yay. And the next time we can just enter another number, so for example fifteen. Then flick the lever again. Press the button, and now you can just restart. You don't have to press anything, any resets, except that one lever when saving in a new number. If we go to the front, you'll be able to see we get a right result of 1.5 times e plus 1. Th then one thing also works quite easily is the sign bit. Just flick the lever. And it's minus 1.25 exponent plus 1. And that is basically how the whole display works. Download is in the description. And thanks for watching.